Shortages continue to plague grocery stores, and now the latest victims appear to be cat food and canned beer. That's because aluminum is in short supply right as demand is increasing. But how are companies taking action to combat the supply issues? Jen Sullivan has more. Aluminum is in short supply, and that's leading to shortages in both the cat food aisle and at your local brewery. We are actually having uh, aluminum uh, demand spikes uh, within the United States and around the world. Say Ken Allschool, assistant professor of supply chain management from the University of South Florida, says we can blame labor shortages, the pandemic, and the ongoing supply chain crisis. Production isn't meeting up with demand, and China's pollution crackdown is driving aluminum manufacturing even further. Basically, uh, decrease the production by approximately 10 to 20 percent uh, worldwide. All school says pet adoptions soared during the pandemic and are still strong, raising that demand for cat food. And as some retailers take measures to eliminate aluminum packaging, aluminum isn't the only problem cat food sellers are dealing with. We don't have enough uh, meat products that go into that cat food. And the main reason really for this is our workforce. The aluminum shortage and price increases are also having a major impact on small breweries across the country. Demand for aluminum can products skyrocketed during the pandemic as alcohol consumption rose and breweries shifted to to-go models. Pretty much everything has gotten more expensive, um, most notably our packaging. So the aluminum cans and lids and everything, really everything we use connected to the, the canning of the products. For today's Consumer Watch, I'm Jen Sullivan. Experts say this is an issue that could linger for several more months and possibly into 2023. And pay attention to the shellfish you're eating. The FDA is warning of potentially contaminated raw oysters. The FDA is working with Canadian public health authorities regarding a norovirus outbreak that has been linked to raw oysters from British Columbia. Norovirus can infect people of all ages, especially those with compromised, compromised immune systems. The FDA has confirmed that the oysters were sent to restaurants and retailers in at least 13 states, one of which is Minnesota. At least 29 cases of the illness have been reported in the state. It's spring and that means it's a great time to take advantage of one of the best food buys in the market. Next at noon, how you can spice up some asparagus.